Hello, welcome to the fifth uh, season of the Southern Nation League. I'm your play-by-play -play analyst, Joshua Gonzalez, and it is now the first round of the playoffs. Let's go! La Familia, sponsored by We Buy Houses versus The Magicians, sponsored by The Grooming Gallery. And with me, I have Mike Scalco. What up, Josh? What's up? Who do you think is going to take this game today? I don't know, but you do see something different here. You have Santi in the starting lineup for La Familia and Josh in the starting lineup for La Familia. Oh, you're yeah, right. Yeah, Josh actually came up to me and said, what's up? <laughs> nice guy. Complimenting me on my blue. There you go. <laughs> Wearing blue, representing the dogs. Uh, Santi going to start off early. I swear it's not scripted, guys. No, it is. It is. Mitch wrote the script, handed it to Josh, and then he handed it to Parker. We'll see. G's got some new hair. He does. Gary. What? Trey passed it to Gary Harris. Gary it should Harris. be good regardless. Thank you, Bab. Splash Shakespeare is what they call him. Splash Shakespeare. I like that. Yusuf around here begging like a homeless man. And Santi. Santi pulls. I'm okay. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Alhamdulillah. John, I'll take one. Thank you. What a guy. Handed out oranges. Handing out L's. I like that one. I didn't eat breakfast today, so I need that. Oh, there you go. There you go. I had a breakfast taco, but the taco shell was a waffle. It was, it was pretty good. That sounds good. It was pretty good. Not going to lie. I think I'm going to go have tacos after this game. There you go. All right. Sterling Shakespeare with the first five points for the Magic Men. We got Mike Parker up top. John Carey, great, great cut. Now, what I haven't seen yet is Braylon touch the ball. Hey, great defense. You got to throw that up a little bit higher. Yeah, you see Brandon's right here open. Good I pass. think they should. Oh, beautiful lead pass. The tag off the oh. mark. Quick of the day brought to you by Zane, the realtor. Mike Mitchell dribbling between three. He gets a foul. Uh, Tommy's going to be stepping over there to film. He went outside for just a moment. That's going to be interesting, though. Having Santi starting, usually he gets hot as a six man. Yeah, the thing is, it takes away touches from Bray in the starting lineup, and it doesn't really give them much strength off the bench. So right. I don't know why you fix what's been working the whole season. That's true. I like Braylon picking up G and Trey. Big shot from Trey. Let's go, baby. Let's go, Trey. I think uh, on the podcast, Ziggy said, how can it be Steph Curry? He doesn't have anyone, you know, in his face. Doesn't matter. He's that, banging threes. That's that, why. That was probably his first three from not the corner this season. Exactly. <laughs> Everything's been a corner three. I want to see Bray versus Chill. That's a foul. Going up strong. I like that. That's two huge men going at it right there. Chili with the great hair, looking like, I think he's got an arrow in the back of his head. I don't know what the <laughs> hell is going on with Chili's hair, but uh, he's doing something there. I don't see him. Where is he? Oh, I see it. <laughs> oh, it's a different color now. Green? Yeah, now he's going green. Somebody's calling my name. What up? Brantley, good on first. It's recording. Just tilt it up a little bit. Good. Yep. Braylon. Gotta love Sway. Doing a great job filming. Second. How many Reavers does it take to film a basketball game? <laughs> That's the question. One, two. I, I keep going in and out. <laughs> oh! Wow. It's tough take, but that is another brick of the day brought to you by ZTR. Zane, the realtor. John Carey to Santi. Santi! Woo! That's the assist of the day brought to you by We Buy Houses. That's what, a good I, one. what I like to see here is former. Oh, slip and fall! Brought to you by Amara on the sweet finish of the day! Brought to you by Ashes Big Show. That was awesome. <laughs> she looking great. Wow. Like what I was going to say, I like to see the former MVP, Nacho Padilla, in the house as the head official for this game and Braylon getting it right back. Uh, we got Nacho here, Sway's twin, filling in as a referee. Should be making his return. Look, they look identical. <laughs> yeah. Like, I can't tell them apart oh, other than the haircut. Gross. Oh, sister of the day brought to you by We Buy Houses. Mike Parker, great pass. Mike Mitchell wanting to cut a little bit late there from Chile. Go up strong. Oh, hell yeah. The hood superstar. The flex and the slap of the chest. Oh, you got right, yeah. Mike Mitchell. Everybody in the hood knows who Mike Mitchell is. <laughs> Every hood. Everybody. Oh, made him jump. Good idea. He's pulling. Mike Parker. Good shot off the mark. Chile with the board. Over to Sterling. Sterling looking. All the way. I like that shot from G. Good shot. Good hustle. Those are just two hustle players right there, Mike per Mike Parker and Chili. Yeah, you're right. A lot of heart. 
Both really strong, too. Oh, Mike Parker. He's yeah. strong for his size. For his size, yes. yes. Oh, good hands. Hey, We're good. Are you okay, baby? She got a hurt wrist. Smack the ball. We're good. You're good. You're good. You okay? Ash is out. <laughs> She's out for the season. I'm going to be commentating and hitting the iPad. Yeah, that ball came in hot. Trey for three. Trey for Trey. Oh, that was a deep one. It's good. It was Mike Parker and John Carey. Oh, JC. Beautiful job there by John Carey. And the foul. Who's the foul on? Foul's on Trey. Foul's on Trey. Yeah. Man, I'm a big fan of Mike Parker at that point guard position. Really good facilitator, really strong, can take it in. And then on top of that, as a defender, man. If Mike Parker is defending you, John Carey, you can't good luck. Guy's all up in your face. That's why he's a front runner for DPOI. We'll see next week if he takes away that award. You got Trey over yeah, Sterling. Yeah, yeah, Sterling. Sterling. Coach Tone in the game. That's a bad Pull shot. Three. That's a brick of the day. Watch you by Zane the Realtor. Thank you. I got you. Braylon pulling up. Nope. Not settling. Over to Santi. Santi for three. That's, Bangs that's it in. Good. That is way too easy. Yeah, that's his corner. It, it, corner shots are his bread and butter. We got a magician's timeout early. And with that, we'll go to We Buy Houses and Mobile Homes, any type, any condition. No equity, no problem. We work fast, use cash, and there's no nonsense. Up to $1,000 if you refer a home. That goes to closing. So go ahead and speak to Josiah Kenyon and give him a call at 407-735-6228. We are back. So the magicians are 12. Okay. Yeah, magicians are losing oh, early okay. here, 19 to 12. But we see Jacob Nolan now in the game and Brandon Steed. Two late season additions. And in this league, it's never too late. That's Seven true. point lead, that could disappear in just a couple minutes. We got a whole squad standing there. This is like an AAU game. We got a whole squad standing there across the court watching the game. <laughs> They're excited though, look at them. Oh yeah. They're ready to see this game, you yeah. can tell. They're it's, locked in. It's very, very good game here. G and Mike Parker, that's a matchup that I really like. Two of the Same. tiny guys going very at it. Very shifty. Yeah, a lot of height, a lot of size, look at and that. a lot of heart. Great hustle, but Braylon, oh, fast Braylon. break layup. Good eyes. Wow, great, great pass, pass, great finish, too easy. Braylon had 20 last game. Mike Mitchell. Uh, he had Brandon Steve, but he couldn't find a passing lane. Jacob Nolan. Jay Nolan. Finds G. That was Ball close. almost gets hit off Axel. So they're doing a great job defensively. They really are. Oh! Good hustle. He could have just let that one go out of bounds off Santi. Honestly, yeah. 12 to 21. Coach Tone does a good job of coaching his team, really. In the playoffs, notoriously, Coach Tone has done a great job of getting his team to the promised land. Let's see if he can do that again. They're looking like that number one seed that they were the whole season. That's tough. Jay Nola. There we go. Stay away from this table, guys. <laughs> Play on that side. Don't, don't dribble here. They're fouling. I need some kind of a foul call here. And that's off the mark. Chili, Chili that's gets the foul. rebound and puts it in. Wow. He's strong, too. Yeah, Chili's a strong His guy. His rebound game is superior. I want to say superior. He's good. Now, he's definitely one of the best rebounders. Oh, yeah. And he plays way he's bigger than his size. It's a foul. That's oh, the foul. Wow. You got to think. When they go the opposite way, the foul calls are going to go the opposite way in the second half because those same touch fouls, they're not getting down here. No. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how that plays out in the second half. Right now, it's a nine-point game. But we saw two weeks ago, Familia take a lead against the Magicians, and the Magicians close the gap late and end up able to win off of that notorious <laughs> Mike Mitchell buzzer beater. <laughs> That was insane. The the benches were cleared. It was ridiculous. I got trampled. I think half the league got trampled in there. Tyson hit the deck. Yeah. Everybody was excited was for Mike insane. Mitchell. I was screaming. I lost my voice. You can't not when the hood superstar does things like that. Yeah. Screen. We got that screen. Oh yeah, that's Cook. Oh no. Oh, yeah. Yep. 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 You Too gotta give dribble. them something. They, yeah. but, they, but they're also hacking. Yeah, they are. The whole way they're hacking. It's a lot of yeah. bodies. They don't, they, they don't give them enough time to pass the ball, yeah. 
So he yeah, they're all over around. him, but they're giving him a lot of body the whole time. We got a mm -hmm. sub. Are we? Are we gonna allow the sub? La Familia playing aggressive here, early too. Horace in the game, so. guarding the hood superstar. I never question the gas take of anybody here, but playing as hard as La Familia is here in the first half, hopefully they don't burn themselves out. Yeah, you never know. That's Brandon a good Steed. shot. That's a good shot. Jay Nola! Nola! Oh, oh. Mike Mitchell. Yep. Gets the foul. Yep, he's getting fouled. It's he a knows, good call. He, yeah, he knows how to get those. I don't know what's going on off ball with Braylon and Chili, but they're running around very physical. Oh, yeah. That's what, that, that's what I was saying. I wonder if it's going to play a factor, how hard both teams are playing. It definitely could. But I think Familia, I actually, I think both of these teams are in relatively good, good shape, shape right. compared to this league. In the two yeah, more if, if you're not in good shape. <laughs> There's only a handful of guys issue. that are in bad shape. <laughs> I'm in, in the league. <laughs> that's me. In the league. Well, you're kidding. not in the league. I, I, you can fight, so I'm sure that's you're in true. very yeah, good no, shape. I, yeah, that's true. I'm sure it's different than basketball shape, but it's got to translate. Tommy! That's true. Parker, 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 tell Dom to get away from Tommy. <laughs> Cameraman got to pay attention. Brandon Steed can't hit on the three. John Carey passes it to Braylon. Braylon gets the foul. By Brandon Steed. But it's really, how, how else do you stop Braylon from doing that? It's really hard. He elevates so yeah, high. Yeah, you have to hit the ball. Easier said than done. Stay away from Tommy. Yeah, it is you. <laughs> Dom loves talking, as you found out last week oh, with the yeah. commentary. <laughs> yeah, he loves it. He does not Amazing. stop talking. Bray hits the first one. Man, I let him talk his little heart out, bro. I was like, ah. man, he's happy. It's a bad decision, because <laughs> he'll never stop. <laughs> All right, and we got Brandon Steed here, bringing the ball up for the Magicians. Brandon Steed, a great pickup for the Magicians. He Shoots is, but he does need to move hit. the ball. He does. That's the issue with the Magicians offense is when Gary Harris and Brandon Steed, that was a travel. When Brandon Steed and uh, G start doing, and Mike Hood, Hood superstar Mitchell, start just bringing the ball down and not passing. The no pass offense is when they're at their worst. When right. they move the ball, they find a wide open shot. That's when they're at their best basketball. I want Boogie in the game. He's ready. I think he's coming in soon. No, he's just been standing there the whole time coaching. Oh, yeah. He's doing a very good job at it. Yep. Yep, that's it. That's great. Good call by Boogie. No, but you got to sell a better screen than that, Chili. One more. Chili, use tone in the pick and roll. There you go. Now you got speed. No, no, I don't like this. Too much dribbling. He just John Carey playing good defense. What are we doing? Good That's a horrible oh, shot. Man. Good hustle by Brandon Steve, but Braylon comes up with it. Good idea. And he passed Braylon. Brandon makes it there you in. Go. Nice pass. Good finish. Good hustle by Bray. Trying to make up for the turnover. Also brings it down to single digits. Horace. Good single pass. Oh, that's a great pass. Great finish by JC. Magician's undisciplined. They're three-headed monster in, in Steve, G, and Mike Mitchell. They've got to move the ball. They're, they're all three of them are dribbling way too much without passing. If they just started moving to the ball around, I feel like they'd be getting a lot better offense. Yeah, I, I said it a couple times on here on the commentary booth. If you pass the ball a lot, you get those heads turning. People will set their feet. People will get open. And that was a good shot by G, and another good shot. Off the passes. Thank you. That's it. You move the ball. Right. Possession before, they had two extra passes. And now you're only down by seven. It's because it says to Yeah, it's good. It's good. I just have no memory on it. Santi, a little pull up. That's tough. It's off the mark. Good hustle by G. Comes up with it. Push. Push. He is so fast, yep. man. And he's oh, off right. Brandon C comes up with it. Oh, Brandon. that's a good oh, move. Good move. Good finish. And that's it right there. That's that court awareness. Backs around. Knows nobody's in the paint right there at the moment. Closes Braylon, in and makes, good it, shot. makes a play. That's a tough shot by the former MVP, Braylon Pickens. You do not want him to get hot. No, you don't want him to have his Pickens. <laughs> that's a good one. Ah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Mike Mitchell not looking to pass. 
Looking at dribble, 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 and then some dribbling some more. God, it's, it, it's horrible basketball, man. Move the ball. Hey, we got a That's what I'm saying. Sub, I think it's too, sub, much, sub. too much, too much dribbling, too much ball handling. I think they need to facilitate more. Boogie in For the sure. game. All right, we got an eight-point game. Not too bad. And with that, we go to One Hop to Shop. That's the official home of All Cell Nation League merchandise. Their first drop includes the official season 5 CNL merch with hoodies, t shirts, and long sleeves. Contact at Cell Nation League on Instagram to place your order today. Eight point game. Five minutes and 43 seconds left in this half. And it's Magician's Ball. Yep, it's Magician's Ball after the foul. Steed, pass it to Boogie. Boogie, up to Shakespeare. Can't hit there. Good rebound by Brandon, but man. Horace getting in there. Good defense, though. Trying to recover by Brandon Steed. Santi over to Tone. Tone for three. Oh. Off the mark. But Horace with a good hustle. Mike Mitchell. Mike Mitchell hits the ground hard. Yeah, he's gunning for these rebounds. He's turning 39 next month. Playing like a young man really? out there. Wow. 39. Braylon, why do, why do you leave Braylon open? Makes you pay with Santi. Oh, wow. Good hustle by everybody there. And Great Horace. pass by Horace. That's Santi. Santi. That, yeah. You can't leave him open. Mike, you gotta, you gotta get, get into the play. Let's go. Yep, you gotta get back. Next play. A lot's on the line here. Gary Harris for three. Can't wow. hit. I think this might be the death of them if they keep doing stuff like that. Yep, they gotta move the ball. That's a foul by Boogie. He gets away with it. And he flops. Oh, straight into the cameraman. Put it on top of it. <laughs> Thank you, Joel. Magician's ball. Yeah, this is why Sterling. I love 1v1 guy. What a shot. And then he shoots him. Uh-oh. I think he learned that one from Von 2K. Sprinkle fingers. <laughs> Uh-oh. Mike Parker wow, good trying shot to by Mike back. Back. Both of them want the ball that bad. Pass the ball. You got Sterling. Wide open. Can he hit the layup? No, he oh, can't. Brick of the day. Brought to you by Zane the Realtor. Uh-oh, oh, Sterling. Braylon shoots for three. Gets oh. fouled by Brandon Steed. Chilly wow. yelling at the ref. They're upset. The magicians are upset with that call. Could not see it from here. You guys are just running clock. This is really stupid if you're the magicians. Keep the yeah, game don't going. Argue. Yep, keep the game going. Accept what happened. And move on. Yep. Somebody get Santi a comb. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Yeah, he's got the he's got the bed head going on. Uh, magicians complaining. This is how you know that they're gonna lose the game if they're mentally out of it. All right, this is not looking good for the magicians. When your captain is this this enthralled with the referees, when your players are this worried about the refs, now you're playing five on eight. It's a huge advantage for La Familia if they can stay composed. And that's the thing, he's a captain of the ship. You know, if you don't stay composed, the rest of the team can follow suit. That's not you know, what you want. I've been saying that, but Boogie got into a huge fight with G and then went on to turn the season around. So that's oh, true. that was tough. Good hustle. Mike Mitchell, you gotta crash the boards, man. You're the best rebounder on that team. Why are you not crashing the boards? Wow. He stopped him, he dropped him, he popped him. Boogie, Woo! stop worrying about the player. Too nice. Too nice. Really ball is. don't lie. And the ball doesn't stop until the whistle is blown. That's back a backcourt. Back yep. Wow. Yep. It's a backcourt. The magicians are really making a lot of mistakes Mental. here in the first Mental half. Mental mistakes here. Coming down to the two-minute warning. And it's a 13-point game. Black. 2.07 on the clock here. Completely different than the last game with no timeouts being called until halfway through the second half. <laughs> here we've had three timeouts burnt early. 
with that, we'll go to the grooming gallery. This is Orlando's premier barber shop where artistry meets grooming. Horace is a meticulous barber whose focus is on providing top-notch cuts and grooming services tailored to your style. Their brand new location in Hunters Creek is a perfect spot for your next haircut, so shoot them a DM at the grooming gallery to book an appointment today. Yeah, they gotta turn this thing around. La Familia with the ball, Mike Parker, back to Santi. Why is he open? Stop worrying about him, Boogie. It's lucky Brandon on, missed that man. one. I don't think he's going to miss two. Mike Mitchell's not playing defense. Oof. Misses both. Pass it right to Santi. There you go. Sterling. With the Slow rebound. it down, man. Foul. G good take. gets the and one. Yep. That's a good foul call, and that's a great take. I need Mike Mitchell. I need Mike move. Mitchell to get more involved mentally because he's out of it. He's not closing out on Brandon. He's standing in no man's land. Boogie's too worried about guys falling, and he's helping guys up. If anything, I would, I would, you know, substitute him out let, and get Trey Chili back. Off the, or, or get yeah. Trey or Chili. That's what I'm saying. Let get either some, one of them back in the game. Yeah, he's been a negative so get, far. Get Trey. I think Trey hit a three earlier. Yep. And then he didn't touch the ball. Yeah, that's what I'm. And and that's what I'm saying. Why don't they do that? I mean, it's the same thing we saw last game with the Ghost Riders. Ziggy they had their first six points, and he doesn't take another shot. Yeah, because and that's because they don't off the mark. There you go, Mike, doing your job, and you get fouled. Look at him. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. There you go. Hell yeah. There you go, Mike. Strong man. He's strong. That's that grown man strength. We got one and one. <laughs> I love that. It's, it's the greatest hand. He's a, he's a WWE man. wrestler for he sure. He is, yeah. So hood superstar. What? He's got new hair. G's got new hair. Everybody coming in. I don't know what those are called. Some kind of a twist. Right. Off the mark, Boogie with the offensive board. Back up, Puts Boogie up. with the Boogie. putback. Call for uh -oh. foul as well. You gotta love Boogie. Comes in, he's always gonna give you at least one bucket, and then that's about it. But he's gonna hustle that whole time. Mike Parker, good rushing hustle. into the lane. Oh, he got oh. fouled, but they didn't call it. Horace there to save that play. Delay game warning towards La Familia. Nacho, you hear the delay game warning. He, a lot familiar warning. She's doing a bit much. She's in a bad land. Two of the best defensive players in the league around him. Mike Mitchell. Oh, oh couldn't make it in. It's a beautiful Coming move to there. a hood near you. <laughs> Good pass. Oh, over to Santi. Santi going up and he gets fouled foul. by Brandon Steed. That's a foul. He's reaching in. Offamir does a great job of getting those foul calls. Because they're not settling. It's the difference of what you're seeing a lot of times. Caught it on the floor. I don't know if I agree with that, but it's okay. I'm not ref in this game. <laughs> oh, wow. Sterling coming up with it. You don't have to push if you don't have it. Wow. Guess at that point he was just looking for the foul. Yeah. If anything, they could have made a three-point play out of that. What I'm not liking he is the fact that Ziggy is way behind the play making that call. Ziggy needs to be running as a referee right. and get in front of the play so that he can actually see the contact. Yeah, I mean, refs run too, you know? They have to. They work on their cardio as well. They have to. <laughs> they have to be in shape. And he misses the first one. Ball does not lie. Yusuf refing the game. Oh, my God. <laughs> God, he's an asshole. <laughs> Ziggy was like, give me the ball. Who? The only guy that didn't play here. He started. He started. He started. He started the game. I'm just saying. You see. Man, I don't get. I don't get that. But Mike Parker. I don't give a fuck what Tone says. And this is on the broadcast. Tone, play your fucking players, man. You do it every single season. You played Batman zero minutes in the championship game. You lost by 20. You couldn't even put him in in jump minutes. Is this disrespectful to the guys that are paying the same amount of money as everybody else? Play your guys. Unacceptable. G, over to Mike Mitchell. Mike Mitchell down low, off oh. the mark. Brandon C grabs the ball, it's a foul. Yeah, no, that foul was a Mike foul. Yeah, his, his whole upper body was going the opposite direction. It was a good foul call. Mike Parker grabbed him. Hey, 
Mike has four fouls. Mike Parker with four fouls. That is a storyline. Two more, he's out of the game. Mike. Oh, wow. Eight. Top eight. Got four, bro. Go. No good on the first. Thank you, Nacho. Yeah, Communicating well. Letting yeah. us know. Magicians have shot horrible from the free throw line. Yeah, it's atrocious, I think. I, I don't have the numbers, but it doesn't... I no, mean, the scoreboard reflects. Yes. Yeah. yeah, they've gotten to the line plenty of times. As you see, they're, they're winning the foul battle, but they have not been able to capitalize at the free throw line. Braylon yeah, Walton. that's right. Nine fouls, and they're still in there. They're just in a bad spot. They're in a bad spot because they're not finishing. Santi. Oh, that's, Woo, that's good a good fade. shot. That's long, though. He gets it again. Santi's Second chance. Hit. That's good. Gets it in. He doesn't miss two of those. Up to Sterling. That's good defense by John Carey. The steal. Oh, wow. That was a wow. nice pass. The assist, assist of the day. day. Brought to you by We Buy Houses. Up to Brandon Steed. Behind him. Pulls. Can't hit. Wow. I don't know why Sterling ran here in the first place in the three defenders. That's interesting. They got it all the way down to an eight-point lead, and then La Familia brought it all the way back up to a 13-point lead. Insane. But with that, we go to our sponsors. 13-point lead. La Familia is in control. Um, the Magicians, it's a tough matchup for the Magicians. I know last time they played, Magicians beat La Familia on the, on the Hail Mary Mike Mitchell shot. Hell yeah. But um, it doesn't look to be the same type of game right now. They're not hitting their shots. They're playing great defense. They're moving the ball well. Let's see if it translates. I love you. I love you. 13 point game. The Magicians have a lot of work to do. Yeah, we'll see if they can make the comeback. If they play the way they played in that first half, I don't think they have a chance. No. They've got to move the ball, but we got Trey and Chili back. I like that for them. I don't know if this is their best lineup. Mike, Mike on, Parker, though, with two fouls. Man. There you go, Mike. That's what we need for Mike. In the paint. I think he needs to pass it up and let someone else take it up, you know? He's one of the best paint players. Okay, good. He's one of the best paint players on the court right now. You see, G took off his warm-up. He had a purple long sleeve. Yep. Let's see if that makes a difference. And it does. Oh. <laughs> it does. No sleeve G is much better than sleeve G. He's not Brandon Benton. <laughs> All right, let's get away from the camera gear. There we go. I don't yeah, I don't think that he touched it. You just letting him shoot? You, if you're oh. going to do that, you at least got to grab the board, Mike yeah, Mitchell. Yeah, Mike, and he, and he did it twice. He yeah. relaxed twice from there. If anything, box him out and on look the first what he, look what he's still doing. He's yeah. still talking to the ref. That's why. He's looking for a call. Play through the fucking whistle. It's ridiculous. Keep playing. Good take. That's it. At this point, you have to attack Mike Parker. You attack Mike Parker and you get him out of the game, that is a huge loss for La Familia. Right. 100% agreed. Put him in foul trouble. Put him in a position where he has to play defense. Good defense by Chill. That is great defense. Great board. Push. Good pass. There you go. Get the foul. That's wow. huge. That's five. That's five on Mike Parker. Wow. Wow. One more and he's out of the game. One more foul and Mike Parker's out of the game. That is huge. That is huge. That's five on Mike Parker. He's, the, Dallas, he's you definitely it out. He's definitely their lead point guard. They, you know, definitely need him. Yes. Six to get kicked out. Yeah. If he, if he gets kicked out of the game, it's going to be interesting to see. Yeah. Are they keeping him in with 18 minutes left? No. He gets subbed out for Coach Tone. Wow. This is big. This is big. That is a storyline right there. It is. At all times, they have two Early. bench players now in the game for La Familia. With 11. With over 17 yeah, minutes 11 left. 11-point game. Wow. He's got to hit these free throws. They're killing themselves. Yeah. Santi. Santi. That's that tough. goes step back. That's off. Josh with a great board. Four. Up to Braylon. There you go, Josh. Thanks. Braylon, he got fouled. And gets yeah, fouled. He got fouled. I personally would have caught him on the floor. Easy, number 19, Sterling Shakespeare. <laughs> he said, what? Yeah, six fouls, they're out. Anybody else in foul trouble? Mike Parker. That's it? Everybody else is good? And that's the thing, Mike Parker plays really, really good defense. So he's all over you. 
and it's kind of I feel like it's kind of hard for him to like kind of you know pull that back a little bit and kind of restrain himself because well, when he, he just sees plays so fast up, that's yeah, yeah exactly that's the that's the hard part about being a good defender happy belated birthday this man turned 26 yesterday shout out Juan um when you play so fast, it's kind of hard to control yourself and not play hard. There you go. That's it. Now attack. That's a foul. Yep. That's another foul. Fouls on John Kerry. Number that's seven. That's what you said. Yeah. Put the rest of the team in foul trouble. Now. Yep. Yep. Hey, if you can get Mike Parker and John Kerry out the game, you're in a really, really good spot if you're the Magicians because then it's just solely on. Now, granted, it's solely on two of the best players in the league, Braylon and Santi, but their two anchors on defense are John Kerry and Mike Parker, which is going to make it easier for the Magicians to attack. And we know that they have weapons to score. It's just a matter of opening the floor and hitting the free throws, man. They're killing it. It should be a tie game right now if they hit these free throws or at least a close game. Yeah, they had nine, I think it was like nine different times they got to the free throw line and they missed a lot. Yeah, they're shooting below 50% from the free throw line. And he finally, makes one. finally sees one go. <laughs> And it's weird because Sterling's shooting great from the field. He just cannot hit a free throw. Good take. Good take by JC. Off the mark. Good hustle by both of them. Watch out. <laughs> a little bit of chitter chatter between Mike. What are you and doing? John what are you doing, dude? What are you doing? Yeah, but you you still have to you have to hold the ball and wait for everybody to be set before you inbound the ball. What are we doing? <laughs> Buggy, he pointed the wrong way. He pointed the wrong way. It's a good pass. Oh, good pass. You need a new defender in there, Boogie. It's the playoffs. Mike Mitchell got to do more. Oh, what is that, my Trey? Goodness. That was a horrible Come on, pass. Trey. I need you in there mentally. Gee, pushing the pace. That's a great take. You see the difference in familiar's defense now. Yeah. And that's because Braylon's such a good leader. He's able to just calm them and be like, don't foul. That's a foul on G. Don't foul. At this point, just hands up. We can't get into foul trouble anymore. Let right. them attack. We have a huge lead. We right. might as well just let the game go. Yeah, let the game go. Let the, let the clock roll. And Lock got subs. has a key play subs. to end it, too. Subs. Are we holding the ball? There we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm laying the ball for them. Yeah, thank you. I know. They're not really paying attention. Sandy custom hoop. He got hacked by Brandon Yeah, Steve. I heard that from here. Yep, through the headphones. Yeah. Really? Through soundproof headphones, we were able to hear and they didn't the smack. <laughs> you know what? Let them play. <laughs> Let the kids play Sunday morning. We're out here <laughs> having fun. All right, let's see what happens here. 14-point game. La Familia could be clinching a semifinal spot here for the Orange Conference. In which case, that's going to be a hell of a game, Familia versus Makos, but we cannot count them out. And Coach Toe with the slip and fall landed on his ass. <laughs> I don't know how it happened. <laughs> but I got to call him when I see him so we have options. Yeah, you're right. Here comes oh, Santi. Brandon C with a foul. Oh. But Jacob Nolan comes up with it. Come on, Jay Nolan. Oh, why are you picking up the dribble? Give it back to him. That's a foul. Give it back to Jacob Nolan. And that's yep, a foul right he's there. He's getting fouled. I, ag I agree. I think yeah. that should have been a pass back. Swing and he it right back to three. him. But I don't like Jacob Nolan picking up the dribble that far out either. He's playing too hesitant. Right. Pull. They got to have fun. Everybody yeah, they're, they're Wang Chung tonight. He said what? Everybody Wang Chung. Everybody oh, yeah. have fun tonight. Everybody <laughs> Wang Chung tonight. Yeah. All right, Jacob Nolan. Do something crazy. Do it for Instagram. Oh, good pass. Oh, good pump fake. Oh, yeah, he's going to put that assist on his Instagram. <laughs> Jacob Nolan, let's go. Brandon Steed's really good from the mid-range as well. But did you see that pass from Jacob Nolan? Yeah. That's what we're really yeah, caring about for this highlight. Yeah. Go ahead, Chili. Right down, Chili. They Pick. both love those Instagram highlight tapes. Brandon Steed and Jacob Nolan. <laughs> oh, Santi wants it. He's getting hounded by the two little boys. And he said... Oh, he said I'm terrible. All right, Jacob <laughs> Nolan. Big board, Jacob Nolan. G pushing the pace. There you go, G. Oh, yeah, B. 
Oh, good pass. That's good. That's oh, good. That was uh oh, we got a seven point game. That's assist of the day brought to you by We Buy Houses. I like it. Uh oh, we got a game. Oh, yeah. Magicians come alive at the end of the second oh, half. Yeah, that's offensive. a charge. That's offensive. That is a great, definitely great the shoulder. job by Brandon Steve. Wow. Wow. Brandon Steve making that play. He said he played collegiate. He said he played at a higher level. He felt disrespected that they wouldn't give him the ball as much on the Goblins. He's proven his minutes right now. Proven his worth off the mark. Good boy by Coach Tone. Coach Tone trying to calm it down now. Gives it to John Carey over to Horace. And Jacob Nolan comes up with the ball. Whoa. Good hustle by Jay Nola. Put he's that on a a he's tape. honestly making a difference the way he's passing and getting in there and on defense. I wonder if his finger is straightened out. Oh, he just what fouled there and got he, away he with his it. finger? Yeah, on the Reapers. Early in the season, his wow. finger looked like E.T. Phone home. Ouch. Yeah, that's why he was out for a few weeks. Santi, great pass. Assist of the day. Oh, man. Brought to you by We Buy Houses. That was disgusting by Santi over to J.C. That's just one thing La Familia does better. Yep, that's it's a foul the, again. The, the, the passing. But La Familia is fouling a lot. They are. They're playing aggressive. They're playing hard. You can't blame them. It's a playoff game. But Magicians got to take advantage. They're going to get into that bonus very early in the half. If they can somehow hit their free throws, they're going to be in a very good spot here. Oh, that was a carry and a half. The carry by Gary. Jay Nola, I like the confidence. That's all right. Good <laughs> shot. That's it, though. Don't hesitate. You're right. That's, That's what I was saying about you. I was like, stop hesitating on the threes, and then you start hitting them out of nowhere. Jay Nola with another great play. If, Bookie, if you take him out of the game, I'm going to be very upset. Yep, that's a foul that again. That is a foul. It's a, it's a foul. It's a blocking foul. It's the yeah. body. Body on body. Jacob Nolan playing like an all-star. Listen, we, we said on the podcast he got a D rating for the season. Did not live up to that third, third round draft pick. Uh, I said he could go for MIP next season. He's not waiting until next season. He's going for the playoffs. Chili, oh, Chili, Chili gets it go. in! Former first overall pick, season one, season oh, three, no, season three. Season one, he was the number two overall pick. No, he was the number one overall pick. I don't know. <laughs> but, but fucking Chili. He was high up there. He was high up there. Santi! Oh, good take, move. good hustle. Peasy. Jay Nola running Shakespeare. down the sideline. Oh, yeah, Jacob Nolan. Do it to him. Let's go! Put that on Instagram! Put that on Instagram! Four point deficit Jacob now. Nolan! The Let's magician go, baby. showed up on playoff day! Let's go! Oh my goodness! Wow! Yeah, anything can happen here in the Selling Nation League. Oh, when you got Jacob Nolan, anything can happen. Oh, man. Joel, get out of the huddle! <laughs> I know you're excited, but get out of the huddle. They don't need to go, but he's so funny. He's trying to get both teams a tech if they make it into the next round of the playoffs <laughs> for coaching them. Ridiculous. And now we got a four point game. And the foul count. That's insane, too. But do the fouls help? I know that obviously they'll get free throws, but if it's late in the game and they're down by a big amount, they're going to want the clock to not run, right. and they're going to be in that one and one which takes more time off the clock, especially with the pace that they've been yeah. playing. But with Mike Parker coming back in, oh. you kind of you want that. Mike Parker back in the game, 9.34 on the clock. This is interesting. He's got to stay out of foul trouble, but you kind of have no choice if you're La Familia. Thank you, know. The tale of two halves of magicians, a rough start, but they're starting to find their rhythm. Yeah, Mike Parker, but we're not going to remember we'll he has five after. fouls on him. But thank you, Nacho. He's got to be careful. Being shifty with it. Yep, he got fouled by Brandon Steed. Good job drawing the contact there. So dangerous, man. Speed kills, and he's the perfect example of that. Mike Parker has had an up-and-down year offensively. One game he's hot, one game he's not. And I think that he's got to learn that it's not... It doesn't have to force every time. Right now, they got to get the ball to Braylon. Braylon's their guy. Santi's hitting shots, but not as efficiently as he has been. Braylon's the guy that can definitely get you a bucket when he's being great finish, great pass by Santi. That's like the third time they've done that to them. Yeah, because they're, not, to the they're not playing intelligent magicians on defense. 
They're letting a lot of things go. Gary in the lane, levitates. I don't and like that they took Jacob Nolan out the game. Me neither. He Why was, did they take him out for Mike Mitchell? Like that, he was creating steals, creating turnovers for them, and now the lead is up to eight. This is just not. Familiar. And this is this is when a veteran coach has the advantage over a rookie coach because you keep Jacob Nolan in and you don't put Mike Mike Mitchell back in the game right now. You wait. Good defense. That's uh, that good was good defense. defense. Good pass. Good defense oh. from G. G. Looking to take it up and that all was, the way that in. Was That's a sweet finish of the day brought to you by Ash's Bake Shop. That guy floated in the air for like three seconds. Yeah, that was impressive. And a good foul. And one. And one. Tough take. Eight point game. Why oh, yeah. is Jay Nolan not in the game? I mean, uh, it's I killing. Am, it's honestly I killing am, them. I am mind boggled that they did that. He hits a three. He's made play after play, loose ball, turnover, rebound, assist, and then you take him out of the game. It makes no sense. Right, they, he, he cut it all the way down to a four-point Yeah, he game. was the guy. He was the catalyst that did that. He got fouled, yep. Foul on Horace. I think that's his third. Five. Five for Horace. Wow. Wow. And five for Mike Parker. And next one, they're in the one and one. Yeah, that would be horrific if they lost both of them. Yeah, it's two of their two of their usual starters. Horace didn't get the start this game, but he normally does. And he got fouled again. Good hands. Lucky to call it Braylon. Yep. Oh, sweet finish of the day. Brought to you by Ashes. Hey, the clock's Bakeshop. running, y'all. Clock's running. Y'all gotta get the ball. Why is Jacob Nolan not in the game? This makes no sense. Called another timeout. Man, how many times do I gotta say it? <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. 657. Man, 11 point game. Just like that, four point game turns into an 11 point game because you take Jacob Nolan out the game. I'd put him back in. Hopefully he could get those defensive turnovers and make it a close game again. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Frustrating to watch. Wow. I wonder if it was as much of boogie coaching or if it was Mike insisting he goes back in the game because that does happen where players pressure captains into being put back into the game right. when they don't deserve it. We've That's seen true. it a lot. And he's a, he's a notorious guy to do that. If something's working, I just let it keep happening. The Until issue is a lot it. of guys are selfish in this league. They want minutes. They want the ball. And sometimes it's despite their teammates. Right. Once again, you don't see Jacob Nolan in the game. This is bad. This is bad for them. Right. They got to turn it around now. I understand Mike Mitchell's clutch. Put him in for the last three minutes. You should have let Jacob Nolan run for another four or five minutes and then put Michael Mi Mike Mitchell in to end the game. I agree. Unless he's going the opposite. Unless he, he's going to put Jacob Nolan in to end the game. They could have taken the lead and then put Mike Mitchell in and yeah. see if they could, you know, put yeah. the nail in the coffin then. But. Magician's inbound in the ball here off the timeout. 6.57 on the clock, 54 to 65. Familiar leading by 11. Let it roll, let it roll. Let it roll. Oh, hit his foot. Hit his foot. He did. He did. That's all right. Gino giving him an extra two seconds. Ah, oh, wow. I see. That's just... That one's a bad yep, he got fouled. Good hustle. No, you got one more. All right, clock's G, running. I mean, G, I think you should have slowed that, slowed that play down. They're continuously pushing it, and it's, it, it, it's not always working. That's a good take by Mike. Wow. wow. And one. Yeah, it's yeah, a foul. It's an and one. Looking to close his game out G's right now. G's moving his feet. I, I think that that's game. Yeah. There's a bucket. Make a call. What is the call? But what's the call? Everybody's confused on what the call is. Hey, Nacho, get get Ziggy and Eric. Call a huddle. Make the call. Clock keeps running. The clock does not no, stop. Clock, clock don't stop. Let's, let's is official time yeah. Out. Let's yeah. Refs discussing to see if it counted or not. It's not bullshit. It happens every game. Yes, they're going to do the refs. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's not. 
official timeout. It's not official timeout. No. Clock, clock always runs. The clock always runs. Yeah. yeah. No. Clock, unless they, they could have burned a timeout if they wanted a timeout. They also could have kept Jacob Nolan in the game. But. Hey, Nacho, what's the call? Top back. Be the, the slight should have kept J Jacob Nolan in the game. Okay. Yep. No, but it's true. Yeah. Oh. Interesting oh. call. Good hustle. Oh, yeah, that's yep, out of bounds yep, on yep, Mike. Yep. Good Mike, hustle. Quick, yep. Hold on, hold on. Talk to me, talk to me. Do you want me to add time for the time waste to talk? No, nope. you're good. Not to stop the clock. Yeah, clock goes. <laughs> you're good, you're good. Sub, sub. Sub, sub, sub. Jacob Noah is back in the game. Man. Might be a little bit too late for that now, though. 11 point deficit. The magicians really wow. got to get something they, they working. They didn't put Jacob Nolan in the game? Oh, I thought he was coming in. He was, and I think what we said before, I think Mike Mitchell told him no. It's, it's wild to see when Jacob Nolan was their best player. When they look back on this, they're definitely going to regret that decision. Especially when this is happening. And it's happened all game because Mike Mitchell's not playing defense. He's going to be upset about this broadcast, but I don't care. You're not playing smart defense. He hasn't played a good game. Jacob Nolan played very well. Good pass. Good take. He gets the foul. Foul on John Kerry or was that on Santi? Number three. Foul's on John Kerry. Okay. If I'm Boogie, I'm stop arguing with the ref because Nacho has his head turned speaking to him instead of seeing the call. So right. it happens sometimes where then you get upset, oh, you missed that call. Well, that's because you're, you're complaining to me and we're having a conversation and I'm looking at you. It's going to be there really interesting looking back at this game, looking at the free throw percentages for the magicians. They're really going to be kicking themselves in the butt. Yep. Oh, you hear when Mike Mitchell just came off the court, he said it makes no sense. It makes perfect sense. Jacob Nolan has played better. He's played harder. And you've trotted down the court on multiple occasions. I want to see more out of you. You're one of their best players, and you haven't done it. He got hacked. Yeah, that was around the neck. Yeah. Horse collar. Playing football out here. <laughs> Braylon Smart, veteran but, right now. He's walking to the line. But if I'm being taking honest his time with you, on the floor. It's, it's a little too late to oh, put Oh, yeah, way Jane too late. Nolan, way too know, late. Three minutes. How's he going to bring this deficit down? He can't. Know? Because now they're in the one-on-one. -on -one. Both teams. Clock's going to keep rolling until it's two minutes. And Braylon's being smart. Braylon's taking his time. Why not? It's the first one. That's another 15 seconds that's going to run off the clock. Right. It's game over. It's that's it's, it's the honest truth. That is an issue in selfishness, and that's a lesson learned for all other captains. You don't have to listen to guys on your team. You have to do what's best for your team. That's the job of being a coach and being a captain. And that and that's where Coach Tone, that's how he separates himself. He knows how to coach. He knows when to put his players in, when to take them Well, out. he also doesn't play all of his guys the fair amount. So you can't really that's go true. off of that. Um, but he does do a good job coaching. Because, like, right now, to be go, fair, go, you go, can go. just put in your, uh, your guy that needs three more minutes and let him close out the game, and he got fouled. And, you know, be fair to his guy and take himself out and, and let the guy finish the game out. Just saying. Grab the two-minute warning. Braylon. At the free throw line, looking to ice it. Ice, ice, baby. Off the mark. One one. Yep, it's one and one. Live Gotta ball. push. <laughs> it looked like G was the only one who knew that. Needed. Short. That's off. Good take, Sterling. Now get back. Get back. And look who's the first one back. Jacob Nolan. Look at that. Look, you see how it's a different game when he's in 100%. there. 100%. It's a foul. Yep, foul on John It's a Kerry. different game when he's in there. He knows 100%. how to play defense. He knows how to get back. He but makes it harder the difference is he's there. hustling. That's the, that's the main difference. That is the main difference. Mike Mitchell right. has been jogging. He's been letting those back and talking, layups talk, go. Yeah, talking to talking the refs. Yeah. Jacob Nolan has just been putting his head down. He's played a phenomenal game, and magicians will look back and be upset that they lost this game off of free throws and poor coaching, unfortunately for Boogie. And it's clear, It's a clear factor. I mean, look, yes. they're down by single digits already. Yep. As soon as Jacob Nolan gets in the game, and look who's the only one back. Yeah, look. Even, e even if he does call, cause a foul, he's not making it easy on them. Yeah, but that, that's a smart foul. Yeah, You're not is. giving Braylon a wide open layup. That's fine. Yep. You set him to the line. He just missed the free throw. Even if he goes one for two, you're in a better spot. Exactly. 
And the clock doesn't run. You're in the final two minutes. I was just about to say that, too. Like, it's a win-win situation from him to doing that foul. It's a good shot. He hits the first one. Braylon at the line, shooting his second. Off the mark. Just like you said, he might, he might make one and miss one. Yep. Good take by oh, Brandon wow. Steve. Now you got to get back. Now you got to get back. Now you got to press. Jacob Nolan up top. Lafamil looking to hold the ball, cut some time down. Mike Parker said wow, no. no foul. G comes up with it. How is that no foul? I don't know, but does it matter? Sterling with the three. Can he cut the gap? Off the oh, mark for Brandon Steve. Could have been a Brandon travel, but he Steve finishes gets it. it in. Six point game. Uh, Tone up set. With a minute and Rightfully seven. So. I mean, it, I mean now, now it's a different story, but you see Taylor two, Taylor two players. Now, can I say this? Does Mike Mitchell sub, him back, sub himself back in the game? I, I honestly, if, if I'm Boogie, I would not let that happen. Well, you know what? Yeah, you could clearly he, see. He's clearly not doing that, though. You clearly saw it. They were down yeah. by 16. They cut it to four, and then you subbed out the guy yeah. that's been the catalyst. Yeah. It's very clear. Maybe it's harder to see when you're in the midst of the game and we're able to look unbiasedly. Right, yeah. right. Um, and Mike Mitchell's normally a very big factor on that team, but it's been a Jacob Nolan kind of day. Oh, yeah. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. And it's not always the guy who's scoring the most who's, you know, who's no. going to win you the game. No, it's the guy who's doing the little things correctly. Exactly. And he is. Ball's going to advance to the half think, court. And I think Boogie understood that because he's still in the game. Or, uh, yeah, Gino is still in the game. Nacho, half court. They call a timeout. And look at that, on top of that, Jano was telling Brandon Seed they were coming up with plays on how to make turnovers and stuff like that. Yep. You know, he's playing hard. He should have been he in is. the game. He he's in the game this end of the, the the last eight minutes. It's a different game. The amount of backdoor layups we saw. We saw Horace hit a backdoor layup, John Carey hit a backdoor layup, and those easy rebounds, he would have done a good job of stopping that. Good right. hand by Brandon Steed. Braylon looking to run good the hustle. Clock. Good hustle by Chili. That's eight second count, eight second count, eight second count, eight second count. That was an eight second, and now they get the ball back. He's, yeah, it's honest. Yeah, I mean, it's he, crazy. He was back there dribbling. It's Look crazy. who was there, Chili and Jacob Nolan. Exactly. Gary goes in for an Four easy point game. layup. Four point game, magicians, do you believe in magic? Foul. Yep, good call. Hey, that's a good flop by Braylon. It's a good flop. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they're gonna look. Magicians are gonna look back at this and just be like, "Wow." Double bonus right here. If only. What the hell is going on? Why are they all talking shit? Get on the line. Refs gotta take control of this game. Mm-hmm. And now we got Familia and Magicians fighting on the sideline. And Braylon hits the first one. <laughs> what is going on? I don't know. Alhamdulillah, <laughs> as Yusuf says. <laughs> Braylon icing it. What's going to happen here? Just under 40 seconds on the clock. John Kerry, great defense. Good pass. Good pass. Can he Sterling hit one? Can't the mark, hit. And that's game. It's a foul. Honestly, yeah. the three point the three point game for the magicians kind of fell off in the second half. They couldn't really hit a lot of them. Actually, I mean their main three point shooter is G when he's hitting. Um, and, and Trey they haven't really in. yes, and Trey when he's in. He, he hasn't really got the opportunity today. No. Uh, but in all fairness, Trey hit that shot. This is their best five today. There's right. days where it's Trey. There's days where it's Mike Mitchell. Right. Um, but today, this was their best five. And if they would have got more burn, I think they win this game. Oh. You can call it, ref. That was not a game. You gotta control the game. You can call it. God damn, man. How many Gino idiots are in this league? I would have called it. Like that. 
All right, let's keep the pace of game. That's why I need to be repping. <laughs> I'm all about game pace. Chili comes up with it. Finds G. That's their best shooter. Oh, that's it. That's game. That's game. There it goes. That's game. Yep. That's it. That'll do. La Familia, man. Got it done. They move lost in. the first time, second time. No, they won the first time, lost the second time. Great job by Santi, just tipping it out, running clock. Brandon Steed off the mark. Wait, La Familia? He gets it. La Familia beat Magicians the first time. They lost did? the second time. Yeah, early in the season. Remember, Magicians were 0-5 or 0-4 to start? 0-3. I don't remember. But they started horribly as well. Uh, but that's it, man. That's it. No. Mike Mitchell saying that it's a dumbass coach. The only dumbass thing that he did was take Jacob Nolan out of the game. I 100% agree. It would have been a different story, but La Familia puts a bow on it, and they'll be advancing, and the magicians will be heading home. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, stay tuned for Game 3, Reapers game three. versus Gobble Gobbles. <laughs> the Cheddar Gobbles. So I can be real with everyone.